much for tuning in to Charlani TV. In today's video, we are going to Waco, Texas. We're gonna hit up Magnolia Market. We're gonna see all their new things. I'm really, really excited about it. My mom and I actually go there. My sister also, who's with me today, she is coming with me today and we are going to see some new things because we often go to Magnolia Market during Christmas time, but they have new stuff now. We haven't gone in the last couple of years, so I'm really, really excited to see what they've got. So we are going to check out their bakery. I think they have a coffee shop now. They have a home store. They have a bunch of boutique type stores. So I think it's gonna be really, really fun. So if you wanna see what it looks like there, and if maybe you're thinking of planning a trip, I will show you all the clips of what it is that we are seeing, what we are doing, what we are eating. Oh yeah. So I hope you enjoy the video, so just keep on watching. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. Waco is about 121 miles away from Frisco, so it took us a couple of hours to get there. It was a super easy ride. We had great conversation and we listened to really good music. So whenever I don't have a podcast on or I'm listening to an audiobook, anything like that, really good music is absolutely key. And my sister actually put on um, some songs by DJ Noise and oh, they were amazing. So we are headed there and traffic was a breeze. And like I said, super easy drive, a couple hours to get there, totally worth it. We'll keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down here. It's like a two hour drive, but I am so excited. We found a place to park, happens to be on the street, <laughs> but I think we're good because we parked in between the no parking signs. So we should be good to go. So I will step out of the way and I will just show you a little bit of Magnolia Market and all the things that are here. Hope you enjoy. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I would know if you know I'm assuming that maybe if you're watching this you probably know who Chip and Joanna Gaines are um, they had their show on called Fixer Upper on HGTV they now have the Magnolia Network on Discovery Plus it is awesome and 
absolutely one of my favorite shows to just binge watch or networks, I should say, because all the shows on Magnolia Network are so, so good. One of the things I absolutely 100% knew I was going to get was a linen candle. This is one of my very favorite scents. However, I did find a new scent that they had called Fresh Start, and I kind of just hemmed and hawed about it because I was like, I love linen so much. Like, why, why even stray from that scent? And you'll see here in just a little that we actually ended up getting a bunch of the other candles as well. But I just love knowing that I am number one supporting them and I've got things in my house that come directly from what they have created. And what they have created is just, I mean, it's out of this world. It's awesome. I love this walk up into the seed and supply store. It is so pretty with all of the flower beds and the vegetable gardens, so, so pretty. And this greenhouse like goals, I someday would love to have a greenhouse like that. But this is one of their smallest stores and it's just everything from pots, pans, they've got some of their gardening tools. And this was a really, it's just a super cute little section of the Magnolia area, love. This is their food truck area. So they have all kinds of food here. There's burgers, pizzas, sandwiches, ice cream, like all the things that you could possibly want, they have there for you. We ended up not eating here. I'll show you that here in just one minute. But this is one of the new areas that they have. They have that concession stand. You can play wiffle ball. There are all the new shops. Um, this whole section right here is completely brand new. And oh, I loved it. And it was really cool to see an actual restoration that they did right here, because if, you, if you've watched the Magnolia Network, you would have seen this transformation because this was a church that they actually moved from another part of the city and then refurbished it. And oh, it's gorgeous. Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. We get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So this was one of the stores, their new stores, that I was most excited about, the Magnolia Home, because you can see that they have little areas set up and decorated and so much inspiration in this one store. I just fell in love with all of these things. There was not one thing in here that I saw and thought, no, nope, I don't think that would be good in my house. <laughs> I loved absolutely everything. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine. But I get up.
So when we walked into this store, I was like, what is that smell? It smelled so good. And my sister said, that's the candle I was telling you about. So I proceeded to get a couple of the big fresh start candles and it's what I have been burning ever since this trip. Now, this is called the Passport and this makes it really fun because you can get a, not only does it have a map, but you can also get a stamp so that you know all of the stores that you visited and at the very end, they give you this really cute little um, pin. If you complete all of the stamps on your Passport, and this was just a super fun thing. I wish that we had known about this at the very beginning, but we got it towards the end. The, the girl there helped us out a little bit and um, stamped all the places that we had already been. So we did end up with a full book, which was super cool. But this was another new area, the press, which is basically their coffee shop. So many good yummies here. So Miley and I thought we would just try and take a chance and get here at Magnolia Table. We were just gonna see if we could walk in because there were no reservations online. And we were, Miley ran out of the car and we got a seat. So I'm super excited and yeah, we'll see what we get here. I'm sure it's gonna be yummy. We decided to try the buttermilk biscuits with strawberry butter because this was something that she actually made on her cooking show and it did not disappoint. It was so good. And then for lunch, we just had burgers and I will tell you, they were fantastic. And you guessed it, there is more shopping. <laughs> so they had even different items here. This was a store that was attached to the Magnolia table and it had lots of really fun things in here as well. So of course we grabbed a couple of these items and then we headed to the original Magnolia store that Joanna Gaines had created. This was her original first one. It's like 10 minutes away from the silos. And again, super cute. Now my mom and I had driven past this store years ago, one of the first times we ever came here, and they have definitely remodeled this place because it did not look like this when they had opened the silos originally. So this was a really, really cool store as well. So I'm really glad that we ended up stopping in here. Not to mention that we got that final last stamp on our passport, which made it even doubly worth it. <laughs> home. I cannot wait to lay out all of the things that we got. I think we got a pretty good haul for sure. We did eat at Magnolia table. It was so good. We had burgers. The splurge live a little and they were amazing. So really glad we were able to get in there. Miley made a good call and said, let's just walk in and see if they'll take us. There's only two of us and totally were able to get in. So really happy that we got to go there. But now I'm ready to head home. I'm ready to unpack all of the things that we got because I think we got some really cool stuff. So let's head home. And in case you're wondering, yes, we did wear masks. And yes, it was a requirement there to go into any of the stores. So we wore our masks. Most people wore their masks and we did stay six feet apart from everybody else. Okay, so I thought I would just go through with you as I basically take all the things out of my bags. I actually carried this bag around with me the whole entire time we were there, which I'm really happy that I did because I was able to throw it over my shoulder, which was perfect. So let's start with this bag that's in a bag, but it's not really an extra bag, but I got Kai some dog treats. Mm, on the fence with them. He is literally the pickiest dog ever. And 
he did not run and devour these like I was really hoping that he would, but that's okay. He liked them well enough, but he wasn't super, super excited about it. That's okay, it is what it is. I caught a couple of recipe cards and one is apple pie and the other one is chocolate chip bundt cake and these are good they're are they're wood they're like balsam wood and they're just engraved and sketched on there super super cool can't wait to make those and then i got caramels we got toffee and then i also got a kitchen towel that just says meet me at magnolia table love this so those last things we actually got at there was like a little market right on the side of the magnolia table which had some really cool stuff in there so that's where i got all of what i just showed you so next let's see what this bag is it says magnolia market magnolia seed and supply so I'll tell you about this here in just a second. I think I actually might already have talked about that, but I'll show you inside a little bit better about what it looks like. But this was, oh, this was, what is that place called? The one on the extra one, the little shop? Cafe Press? No, the little shop, Big, the extra oh, one um, on Bosque. Bosque. Something like little shop on Bosque or something. Oh, here, it's in my in passport passport hold on it is called okay here it is right here see they give you in this little passport they give you directions to all their things and so it was called the little shop on Bosque which was a super cool place too and that's actually where we ended up getting a couple of things that Miley wanted to get um, that she didn't get at the first place at Magnolia Market at the actual marketplace so we got a couple of candles in here it's a linen and greenhouse so linen is my absolute favorite scent looks like this so I got this size right here and oh my goodness it just it smells like heaven no lie it literally smells like heaven it's so good and then the other one is greenhouse looks like this greenhouse not as good as linen but still really good still really good and then it came in this cute little like gift box love 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 okay so that's what, oh, I have one more thing. Oh, I know what else I got. See, I'm forgetting like some of the stuff that I got. So by my kitchen sink, whenever I want to like take my ring off to do the dishes, I just set it down. And yesterday I had actually said like, oh, I need a thing to put my rings in. And I got this guy. Isn't it cute? It's just a little heart. It's like a little ceramic heart. So that will go here and that's where I will, from now on, put my rings. Okay, so this stuff I actually got at, it's called Magnolia Home. And these were just other candles. So Miley loved the Fresh Start candle. She likes this scent. So I got her one of these. And then I also got a big Fresh Start as well so this smelled so oh my gosh i could smell it in the box it smells so good it smells so good so i'm actually going to burn one of these tonight burn right now yeah i'm gonna burn it right now and it just it literally this is it so this was the candle that they had burning in the magnolia home building and i walked in i was like oh it smells so good and she goes that is the this one, it's the fresh start one. So I'm like, okay, I'm so excited. Love, love. Okay, so that's what I got at Magnolia Home are these two. But I, they also had a bunch of plants in these little um, like white pots. And I think we've got a project that we're gonna work on pretty soon because I need white pots in my life. We can make okay, that. we can make that. Okay, so next thing, and so this is everything that I got at the actual Magnolia Market store, like the flagship store. And everything I got, I love. So I got this cutting board. How gorgeous 
is that green. Oh, so pretty. It is so pretty. All the colors. So I, they're all different. And I took all the boards down, which is another reason why I don't ever want to order a cutting board online. I want to see what the grains look like. And so I took all of them down and I laid them all out. That was a winner for sure. So I also got new pajamas. <laughs> I like to wear really big shirts to bed. And so I got a new Magnolia shirt. I have another one that says something different on it, but this one says Magnolia Silos and it's a double extra large and it's gonna be so comfortable because their, their t-shirt material is super, super soft. Their um, sweatshirts are really soft. So if you wanna get one and you wanna order it online, I will confirm they are good quality, good quality material for sure. Okay, so this was the big candle um, of my linen, but there, there it is. This is the big linen candle. And this is the one that there's like three wicks. So it looks like this. So good. All those, oh my goodness. It just, this scent just makes me absolutely happy. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, then we have, oh, my sister actually found this and she was like, look at this. This is so cool. So this is a just a dish towel, but it has a recipe on it for donuts, anise bread, Syrian bread. I don't know what that is, but there's a recipe on it. So cool. I love this. So I got this. And then the last thing I got, and you guys, I have been wanting this for years. We saw this at Magnolia Market. Christmas time, two, three years ago. Two, three years ago, and I didn't get it because I was like, Nyeh. but I finally got it today. And it's a scroll with the uh, brown paper. So what you do is it'll just it be hang, hung on the wall. I don't know exactly where it's gonna go yet, but we'll find a place for it. But then it scrolls down and you put these clips down at the bottom and it holds the paper. I'll show you guys probably in a future vlog when I figure out where I wanna keep this. Because what I wanna do is I would love for this to be where we write what we need from the grocery store on it. And then every time we, I go to the grocery store, I can just rip it off. That's, that's kind of what I have envisioned in my head. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But I'm really excited that I finally just bought it. That is my haul from the Magnolia area. We had so much fun today. We might go back here in the next week. It just kind of depends on what our schedules look like. We got a lot of ideas of things that we might want to buy next time. So we will see. But thanks so much for joining us today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed yet to Charlani TV, I would love it if you did. Bye guys.